finally, they're printing the news I've been talking about for years. Windsor is about to boom economically. I truly believe this city is going to be some of the hottest real estate in the province in terms of year-over-year -year growth. I think in the long run, property values are on the rise in Windsor, Ontario. I'll jump right into it. Windsor to lead entire nation in economic growth. In this article, they offer three reasons why this is going to happen here, okay? My name is Ryan. I'm a real estate appraiser in Windsor and a real estate agent. No one in this city knows more about buying and selling real estate than I do. I do it all day long with uh, clients, listing houses, selling houses, and appraising houses for part of my job. If you want to purchase a home in this area, whether it's an investment or a place to live, reach out to me. Feel free. I get calls from YouTube all the time. You can be one of them as well, and I'll give you a hand in finding a house in the right area for you. Not going to put you in the ghetto, okay? Uh, give me a, a, a call. That's my phone number on the screen, or you can shoot me a text. Let's go. So this is the Gordie Howe International Bridge. Or at least it will be when it's complete. I don't know how well you can see it in this uh, video behind me here, but this is going to connect the 401 directly to the American interstate system. Right now, if you are a truck who brings product from Canada to America, you have to actually drive into Windsor, through the city, to the bridge, cross the bridge that's currently there, and then connect to the American interstate system. But this will connect the 401 to the I-75, the I-94, and the I-96 at highway speeds. The construction of this alone is bringing tons of jobs to our area, but then once it's complete, if you're a company that ships to America, where are you going to put your factories? Way up the 401 or close to the bridge, close to the road that already connects you to America? They're predicting that this bridge will bring tons of jobs to our area for generations to come. LG Energy and automaker Stellantis, parent company of Chrysler, are partnering to build the country's first electric vehicle battery plant, a $5 billion investment. This is the largest automotive, automotive manufacturing investment in the history of our province, and I'm sure it's probably the history of our, our country as well. So this then is the second thing that the article mentioned. This is the electric vehicle battery plant currently being built by Banwell Road. When this is complete, it will employ over 3,000 people in our area. And last but not least, the article mentioned this, the Chrysler plant. They currently employ over 4,000 people and it will soon be retooled to build electric vehicles. The article has to be short, so they also left out other things like the mega hospital. They are building a mega hospital here in Windsor that's going to add to our job diversity. We'll have a lot more medical jobs coming into the area, which as we all know are high paying. And while they're building it, of course, there'll be construction jobs in the area as well. So there's lots of stuff going on in this area that's going to provide lots of income and economic opportunity for people here over the long term. So the GDP, the article said, for Windsor is essentially double the national average. And then economist Richard Forbes had this to say, uh, the outlook for Windsor is particularly bright. It's shielded from some of the adverse effects that are going on in some other parts of the economy right now. So what does this mean? I think it means that the, the price of homes in Windsor are going to continue to grow for years to come. I mean, Windsor has always been kind of behind the national average for home prices for years, and it's been slowly creeping up. And then, of course, in 2022, the market took a dip everywhere. But I think we are unique. We're going to keep rising. And if you're looking to move to Windsor and purchase a home or purchase an investment property, uh, now is better than later, because I think later the price is going to go up. That's my honest opinion. And if you're an investor and you want to purchase here, yeah, buy now while it's a bit lower and watch, you know, you'll collect some, some, some cash flow and just watch as the property value rises over the years that follow. And you know what? The article even goes on to say that they are being conservative in their, in their guesswork here about the economy and that Windsor might even outperform what they're predicting in this article. That's huge. Even besides what they're saying in the article and the projects that they mentioned, as a guy who works in real estate here in town 
and helps people move to Windsor from other parts of Ontario and Canada and the world, I have noticed that there's a whole bunch of people with stay-at-home jobs, work-from-home jobs, that are moving from the GTA down here just because it's so much more affordable. Look at our population growth over the past few years, okay? So the last census, 2021, we had 422,000 people in our area, okay? The census before that, 2016, we had 398,000. Now, that might not seem like a massive jump for you, that, but that's actually pretty big. That's about 5,000 people per year moving to the Windsor area. Little secret, they're not building homes quick enough to keep up with that. They're simply not. Do I really think they're adding 5,000 units to live in, uh, whether that's a single detached house or a condo or whatever, over the every year for the past five years? I don't think so. That's a lot of places to live, and we're not keeping up, and that demand is going to be on the housing market as more and more people move in here, and I really think the prices are just going to keep inflating. Even on a national level, look at here. This is Canada's immigration policy. Never before in our history have we been bringing in so many people. And as you know, it's hard to build quickly in a country like Canada. There's a lot of permits. There's a lot of uh, people that need to sign off on rezoning and all this and all that. It takes years to buy a piece of land, get all the permits, to rezone it, to put shovels in the ground, and then to start building. It's hard to keep up. And I don't think Canada is doing a very good job at keeping up. Not to mention, honestly, I really believe Windsor just provides a better quality of life than you get in the GTA or in other cities around Ontario. I mean, if you're near Toronto, after work, you're stuck in traffic, bumper to bumper, breathing an exhaust, taking an hour to get home. In Windsor, it's anywhere from 5 to 10, 20 minutes to get home from work. Maximum 20 minutes. Never longer than that. Instead of flying out of the worst airport in North America, Pearson Airport, when you want to go on vacation, you just hop over the border and you fly for very cheap out of the Detroit International Airport there. In fact, because we're a border town, we have everything that Toronto has, except we're kind of separated from all the mess of a massive city. You go over the border and you got the wings and you got the, the tigers and the lions and the pistons. You got massive malls. You got a great airport there. You got, you got everything. You got massive shows that would only come to big cities like Toronto. Well, they come to Detroit right there. And as I said before, the housing is affordable. This is what you can get in our area for $500,000. This is what you can get in the Windsor area for six six fifty. dollars and this is what you can get in the Windsor area for like 750 grand. Compare that to London, Kitchener, Hamilton, Mississauga. Like it's just it's just not happening. You're not getting anything anywhere near that quality for that price. If you're thinking about investing in Windsor, honestly, the sooner the better. I think it's going to keep going up. And we might catch up to the average in Ontario, which we are below right now for housing prices. Windsor is booming economically. There's a lot going on here. Uh, if you're looking to invest, feel free to give me a call. That's my number on the screen. And please click like in this video if you got use out of it. Thanks.